blast. I'm here tonight to talk to you about how chiropractic fits into your decisions that you make uh, with the management of your health care. Tonight, we're going to build your house of health with your body as the master architect and chiropractic as a humble, chiro as a humble carpenter. But before we, we get started with getting into that, we need to talk about really where we are today. And where we're at in our health care here in America is really not, not a very good situation. We represent 20% of the world population, roughly. We take 80% of the drugs. We have the most surgeries out of, out of any country in the world. Is this making us healthier? No. Well, it's interesting because it's definitely not making us healthier because out of the top 47 industrialized countries in the, in the, nation, in the, in the world, we're dead last. We're 47 down to 47. We're second in infant mortality. All right, that's staggering. So while we have the most advanced medicine and the most advanced surgeries, our health is in a, is in a, in a declining state. So what the good news is that there's a better way, and that's what I'm here to, to, to talk to you about tonight. So with that being said, would any of you all be comfortable entering this system, knowing that we're dead last in the world of health? Probably not, right? So, uh, what we're going to talk to is really about your health care options, okay? How do we manage your health care? What decisions do you need to be thinking about? Before we get into that, I want to talk about darkness for a minute. What is darkness? Does anybody know? Does darkness exist? No, darkness doesn't exist, right? It's the absence of light. And see, does disease exist? Only in the absence of health. So we're going to break this down over here. I, I uh, Forgive me for my handwriting, but I am going to be a doctor. I think it's a prerequisite to have poor handwriting. So we're going to talk about health care. Okay? A lot of people think that medicine is actually synonymous with health care, but it's actually just, it's just one discipline within the health care system. So we have medicine over here. And we have chiropractic over here. These are the two major healthcare delivery systems in our country. Okay, chiropractic, by far the minority. But we see how well medicine is doing right now managing our country's health. So this is not to bash medicine, this is to shine light on where we are. Medicine is for emergencies. Okay, if you get in a car accident or you have some kind of terrible infectious disease, don't come to my office, okay, because that's not the place you want to be. You want to be, you want to be in the hospital, the, the emergency room. Medicine is disease treatment, symptom treatment. Medicine is passive, okay, I want you to think about that. Medicine is passive. If, if health is, or if disease is a lack of health, Right? Medicine waits till the health has diminished far enough for disease to be present. Then they treat, they treat the symptoms. Okay? Chiropractic, on the other hand, is health building. This is bringing light. This is bringing health into your body. So we already said disease only exists in the absence. So we want to build health. Right? right? Right. Absolutely. We want to build health. Now, some people think that chiropractic is an alternative to medicine, but it's absolutely not. They have different goals. One treats disease, one builds health. Chiropractic deals with the nervous system. You see, we have the most amazing power in our, in our brains, in our bodies. It regulates every function, every action of, of our bodies. Our, our, our lungs right now, we're breathing. You don't have to think about it. Our hearts are beating. You, if you cut, we heal. All this healing power is located up here in the brain, in the brain stem. It travels down through the spinal cord, which are protect, protected by the vertebra, as you see here. This is what we deal with. A lot of people think we're back doctors. We're doctors of the nervous system. What we do is we locate interference in this system. When there's interference in the system, the messages from the brain to the body are distorted. 
from the, from the body back to the brain are as well distorted. So we have an incoordination, we, we have lack of function, we have lack of health. So what we do is we locate that, that interference and we remove it. I want you to think of a, of a, of a metaphor here. Think of it as the most advanced uh, irrigation system, okay? This, this irrigation system, it's a beautiful garden. It knows exactly how much water, at what time, in what quantity. It's always correct, delivering exactly the nutrients and the water to that garden that it needs. But there's a big stone in the garden. What's happening underneath that stone? What's happening to the grass underneath that stone? If it's not getting the water and the nutrients? It's dying. It's dying, right? It's dying. So all we have to do is pick up that stone, remove the interference, and the grass heals, the grass grows, right? So I want you to, I want you to think about this. Was, was the problem ever with the irrigation system? No, that was always correct, right? Always delivering what it needed. That's the same thing with our brain. It's always delivering the proper healing messages to our body. But when there's interference with, in our system, in coordination growth, health declines, symptoms are present. And this is the mistake that America's making right now is when we are lacking health, we're going over here. And we're treating the symptoms instead of getting to the cause and removing that rock. Another way to think about it is you got a house, you got a fire in your house. Your, your house starts burning down. Medicine, okay, they're going to come in with their fire hoses. They're in the fire department, okay? That fire is going out no matter what. They're coming in there with their fire hoses and their axes, and they're chopping your house down. Walls that once were, were healthy, they weren't on fire. They're now soaked. They have axe marks in them. The whole structure of the building is now declining, okay? Because health does not come from the outside in. Chiropractic, on the other hand, wants to be that, that humble carpenter. We want to make sure that that wood is treated, that it's fireproof, that, that all the uh, smoke detectors are plugged in, they're, they're working properly. If there is a fire, it's contained. See, we build help over here. We don't wait to treat it. Chiropractic is, chiropractic is restorative and health building. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have never really thought about that. You know, just like, hey, you know, I'm going to do what I do, and if I don't feel good, I'm going to treat it from the outside in. But really, each and every one of you, to truly be healthy and to have 100% function, 100% healing in your body, simply need to take an active role in your health, see a chiropractor, remove that interference, and simply build health. Because is disease present if we build health? No. No. Right? We talked about that. So that's all we have to do. Simply make the choice to build health. See your chiropractor. And God bless. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it.